everybody, welcome back to Mario. Let's play Super Paper Mario. I'm Hunter, the one who caught shenanigans. And in the last part, we finally, well, we managed to complete Chapter 3 1 and team up with Bowser for some peculiarly odd reason. And this part, we're going to explain the 2 2 Rager Mega Super Awesome reference of Tide Pool. Yes, this, this, so this level is basically one giant reference to all the all the classic Super Mario Brothers underwater levels, mostly 2 2. So that was the first one. So yeah, this this is actually pretty awesome. And we get a happy flower with a Bowser! <laughs> with a Ooh, make a coin. Yes, give me all these coins. So yes, yeah, so as you can see, if you press down with Bowser, he can breathe fire, which is extremely effective because of its widespread. And trust me, it will become useful later. Much later. And yeah, why do these things always last so short? Seriously, the <clears throat> they don't even last a minute half the time. I really hate that. Anyways, so... <clears throat> Let's avoid this. Okay. So, yeah. As you can see, our fire breath does quite a bit of damage. In comparison to Mario's and Peach's attacks. So, let's see. Is there... Actually, this is a good era more than ever to use 3D. Because I think there was a lot of secret crap you can find. That you probably wouldn't have noticed if you weren't in 3D. So, let's see. Let's use Slim. No, not Slim. Throw! Jesus. So we can throw this guy and flip him back into our dimension. So we can do this. Yeah, we can't do that. Not so. Okay, so... Okay. Switch character, switch to Bowser so we can... Stump in his ass. Okay, so that doesn't work either, so let's just breathe fire on him. Alright. And up here we get more... Fire... Actually, I'm not sure if this is any area that might have a secret if you go into 3D. I think for this part, though. But just to be safe, we've got to kill everything else with Bowser, because he's the only one who can attack underwater. And it looks like we're going to get a new pixel here, judging by the Yoshi's Island-esque dent stump thingies. At least that's what I think they're trying to reference. So yeah, there's obviously a new pixel that we need to get here, but there's a pipe, and there is obviously something in that pipe. But how do we get into that pipe? It looks improbable and impossible. How do we get in there? I don't know. It's so difficult. Uh, I'm freaking out. I'm gonna possibly kill myself because it's so difficult. I don't know how to get into that pipe. Yeah. Yeah, you should know by now that whenever you see a wall and a pipe in it, it's more than likely you can go into 3D and get into the pipe that way. Do not try this in Mario Galaxy 2. It will not work. Alright, so anyways. Let's swim. Whirlpool. Leg. 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 This area is not my friend. I've got a bit of tricky difficulty getting into this part. This is gonna be difficult because of the lag. Yeah. This part is evil Satan. Get up there. Wow. That is a lot of lag. Hopefully it does not occur when we fight the boss of this section. Because if so, I'm not going to like my capture card anymore forever. Either that, or hopefully we won't get to the boss in this- Ouch, no! Don't do that. Use Bowser, silly. Sorry, my minions, but you have to be born! Anyways. So... Right. Let's hope I don't have to deal with capture card lag when I get to the boss. That is, if I ever decide to do the boss in this part, which hopefully I don't want to. And don't have to. Because, yeah, the capture card is being a bitch. And I don't want to go off the capture card. I don't mind, like, having the capture card actually have the lag, but if I'm going... If I'm watching from the capture card in order to play the game... I kinda don't want it to have it lag. Cause that isn't usually good when you're fighting big enemies. So yeah, obviously we're locked in here, so there has to be something we can do to get out. Alright. We need health. So yeah, let let's let's hope to god I can get like new cords or something soon. Cause I don't wanna have to deal with this anymore. Also by the way, it's the I'm recording this the same day I recorded yesterday's episode because I could not find a save point. Even though I did there, two minutes later, but whatever. So Obviously, there's a new pixel in here, but first, I need health. Hopefully, I will not run into problems of me being sucky at this game later. I'm gonna... What the hell? Hey! In case you ain't heard, I throw a lot of girth around these parts, and I'm gonna check you out to make sure you got the weight to hang with me. Okay. Alright, let's start by checking that face of yours. It's a perfect thing that I picked Bowser, too. Dude that shaggy eyebrows. That's not even kind of girth. You get five girth points. What? You said my eyebrows were shaggy. You do not come in my. You do not come my eyebrows, rapper. 
or someone from Scooby Doo. All right, I gotta check those girthiness of your clothes. What? What's more girthy than a giant spiky shell? That's worth a hundred girth points. Ooh, nice bonus points. Girth check up on the body coming up. That's where the real heavy comes from. Look at this guy. Look him up in the dictionary, and he's the definition of girth. A super heavy weight right here. Bam! Ten thousand girth points. Ooh, the sheer girthitude on my on display here is mind blowing. There is no getting around it. You got heavy like I've never seen before. Heavy weapons guy. Any fool that gets in your way and you just have to girth him up. Love it. Smash it and squish those lightweights. You're going places with girth like that and I want to come along for the ride. Alright, so we get a fourth partner in Pixel in the game, which is... The ground pounding Pixel named Thudley joins you. Thudley. Deadly, Thudley, mm, bad fun. Now you can unleash a powerful attack on anything right below you when you jump. You can even use the ground pound on enemies underwater. So yeah, this is this is what a help us allow us to attack with an anybody but ba everybody. Yeah, this will allow us to attack other enemies. Yeah, you know what I mean. Hopefully, you know what I mean. So yeah, this will allow us to attack the other enemies without having to use Bowser because. So yeah, just use one to ground pound. But I would recommend using Mario because Bowser is too f floaty for some weird reason. All right. Yeah. So hopefully, with the ability to get round pound underwater, we'll be able to get rid of some of the enemies that might get in our way, which is a good thing. Also, I swear to God, if I miss a card in there, please do me a big favor and tell me, because I am keeping a list of all the things, all the cards and whatnot I've missed, and I will go back and get them before I do the final chapter. Okay then. Let's see. Into the land of lag, here we go. Are you ready for this? Here goes nothing. Well, it isn't as bad as before. And it's only because of that one section back there. And hey, you're hurting me, that's not cool. Jump up, okay. So yeah, there's a pattern here. So it's obviously what I don't you don't have to go here, but I didn't know what the pattern was, I could fall, fall God. So, stomp these two down and then stomp this one down. So, yeah, it's basically memorization if you know what to do. And back into the land of lag. Please do not lag while I'm trying to get near the end of this pot. Yeah. And here comes the make a leg spike. It's the pain of the lag, it hurts. Burr leg. Curse you, leg. Okay, God, we think we made it through. We made it through. Wow, that was really freaking laggy. Jesus. Okay, we made it out alive. Thank you, God. So now let's save uh, here. In the safe side, yes, we are aware that my batteries are suck. So you saw what the platform thing said, right? Hopefully you did. Don't, don't, don't slam with the. Flip, flip, cheap, cheap is. Okay. Ah, crap, my battery's died. No, it didn't. Yeah, my battery's died. Hold on a second, guys. No, no, don't, no, 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 no. That's not cool. That's not cool at all, man. That's not cool at all. That's not cool at all, man. Ah. Ah, crap, hold on a second, guys. Perfect time for my controller to die on me when I'm above a pit! Jesus, God. Man, I'm running low on health items. I better, like, hurry up and get, like, you know, to a shop. I think there's one in the castle. And I should have stocked up. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. I know. I know. Crap. Do not die. Do not die. Do not die. Wait, I actually have life streams, what am I talking about? But I'm using the shrimp shake. I can't believe I'm sucking this hard. Seriously, I would not. Vultrum! Vultrum, give me Vultrum. Alright. So, yeah, that was embarrassing. Jeez. I, 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 I swear, I am going to get a new couple of cords soon so I don't have to deal with possibly me failing epically like this. Ugh. 
I've been not, I've been not really doing that good in these first couple of parts in terms of like killing and doing well in the game. So, we might as well end off the episode here because I know there's something evil throughout the door. So next time on Let's Play Super Mario, we're going to be exploring what is beyond the door. Yay! We also got a new partner in Pixel. Yay! So until then, see you later, and goodbye.